if yeah. right now you found out that your partner your is sister? related to you, what would that change? Is incest wrong? This is your <laughs> daily catch-up. Yeah, answer for that. <laughs> it's wrong. Boom. No, no, what no. the hell? <laughs> okay, what's the article? What's the article? So a man right has been given a 4.5 years jail term right for having incestual sex, for having incest with his 30-year-old daughter. 30. Wait, it's consensual. Uh. So it's unclear whether it was consensual or not. But it was If it's consensual, can you go to jail for it? Yes. It is still illegal if you have consensual sex with a family member. Huh? But if it's consensual, how do you get caught? So maybe one of them starts to feel guilty about it. Like, yeah, yeah, and then, yeah, yeah. So like for this case, for example, it was found out because uh, the daughter had told a social worker about the incident. Right. Wait, that doesn't sound very consensual. Yeah. Though, so yeah. You go and tell a social worker about it. Yeah. But basically the article noted that it wasn't made clear whether or not it was consensual. Right, la. right. right. Yeah. And it might have even been like, maybe grooming also like from young already. Like, Perhaps. Oh. We don't know how. Or like the genre of porn. Like bloody the stepsister, stepsister, thing, yeah. yeah. I feel like everybody's weird our wedding sister. That's why they add step on it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You kind of want it, but you don't want to want it, kind. But do you think? Okay, wait. Do, okay, since you brought it up, right? Do you think the genre of porn that is trending influences our actual behaviors and our sexual preferences? Wait, does porn have trends? Yeah, porn goes through trends. I think <laughs> have have. There will be a period of time where they 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 like like a specific like maybe amateur or whatever. Then after that, then there'll be a period of time where Dan, like Dan is very vocal about his, <coughs> uh, his, <laughs> his, his porn trend. Yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. yeah, the situation I think kind of sucks la, for, for, for this in this scenario. But four and a half years only. Uh. Four and a half years only. Only? Yeah, so basically... It's a long freaking time to be having sex with your dad. Yeah. No, 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 to go jail. No, to jail the sentence. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not the sex. Hey, I thought, how can you downplay this thing? According to the law, uh, you, can be, you can be jailed for up to... Uh, five years. So 4.5 is close to the maximum already. Wait, but is it not odd to have a law that is prosecuting such a private matter? Like, right. Yeah. Okay, if it's rape, I completely understand, right? Yeah, but yeah. if it's consensual, right, then why would why is it illegal? Uh, that's my question. So I, I think it's for several reasons. I think one is that bio biologically, 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 the offspring produced from an ancestral, like... It's not ideal. Yeah, because... No, it's more than ideal. Many of them don't make it into adulthood. Yeah, it's actually very problematic because all your recessive genes, right, actually become dominant. So everything right. that, yeah, that, so they actually have a lot of like medical problems. So when we talk about wrong, right, it's actually on a biological scale and yeah. not on a moral scale. And on a, like a slippery slope. If let's say you right. do get pregnant, you do decide to have the baby, then there is a bunch of this and then probably like the healthcare sector gets impacted by a bunch of this. Yeah. No, but again, like back to her point, morally, is it really wrong? Yeah, because I've questioned this for a very long time, right? And I why, are you, <laughs> why are you questioning yeah. this? My conclusion is that I would f my sister. Eh. Do you have a sister? No. Uh, <laughs> okay. Thank, you. <laughs> Thank goodness. Okay, okay, okay. So, 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 okay, hear, me out, hear me out. Hear me out, hear me out. So, you say you grew up with this person. Like, you grew up with this sibling, right? And then you find out that this person is not blood related to you. But you have a connection, right? And then it becomes romantic. Is that wrong? Wait, if it's not blood related, it's different though. But you you have exactly the same life experience, right? As you would with a Regular blood related. It's like sibling. for example, yeah. growing up in a in a what do you call like sorry, uh, like this adoption center. Foster like home. Foster uh, it's like home. growing up in a foster home, lah, right? Yeah. Then you'll get married. Yeah. Is it wrong? Like you say it wasn't about having children, reproduction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Can you like for example register, right? Go to court and say we are consensually in love. Yeah. Mm. And we want mm. to get married. So why is it wrong? That is my question. And that is why, at the end of the day, I think the conclusion is really like, I think it's fine. Ah. Okay, so you are all for incest lah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care, you incest yeah. me. I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna jump into the trap. <laughs> no, but when you really think about it, you, you don't, wow, don't agree, man. watches this, yeah. So, but are you okay with specific incest? So this is like sister lah, but then if it's like your mom or your aunt or like your cousin. Cousin, I'm guessing okay lah, because you would run your sister, right? <laughs> oh, this guy. Because I have the harder no, fight, I right? think So you just sit down I there and throw I think you don't it. have a sister is the problem. How about your brother? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you are curious about uh, the male G-spot. I, I, I know you are. It's in a prostate. Will you let your brother try? 
You probably will do it with a girl, right? You say you told me once, you're a guy that will try everything once. Will you try with your brother? He's setting. No, no. I'm saying if there, <laughs> if there are romantic relations, yeah, I don't see anything wrong with that. No, so if you catch feels for your brother, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You catch feels for catch you. Catch feels, yeah. So okay. eloquent. Yeah. Like why? What, what's, what's your brother's name? <laughs> <laughs> right. So in, in, in the US, right, it, incest is illegal, not just for biological reasons, but because of the harm it can cause to family relationships. As in breaking, fa like your family don't want to talk to you because you are together with your sister. Yeah. You? So that the people who might disapprove of it. Might cause strains. It's Imagine a, you and your sister break up, yeah. Point. You and your sister break up that house, yeah. <laughs> then you no longer sisters and brothers also, because you can't see each other. Okay, yeah, yeah, I get that, but still, that doesn't feel like something that I have to make a law out of. Yeah, like it's illegal. It's at the end of the day, it's their choice, ma. No, but the biological reason. No, I we cannot look at law now. To be yeah. a law, though, yeah. The biological reason. So the law aside, but morally. Yeah, yeah, yeah lah, morally. It, Based on my argument, is it not okay? I can't believe this is the conclusion that we're about to come yeah. to. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Give me some time, I need to flip the authority. <laughs> but at the end of the day, because <laughs> laws were set at a particular time, right, when it was relevant then, not saying that incest is okay now, but the laws were always not hey, But why is it not okay? <laughs> but I would think there was more incest back then than now, right? That's how they found out lah. Yeah. But it's meant to be what the collective thing is the right thing to do. Right? There's no like, it's not completely black and white that this is the higher being saying that this is the right thing to do. That's why there's like weird laws that we that we briefly discussed about. Yeah. But that doesn't, that doesn't counter my point. Right? No, because you're, you're saying like, why is there a law just specifically for incest? Yeah. And it just so happened that during that time when the laws were set and we inherited laws from like Britain, I guess, that the collective just felt that the incest English. was not good. And not correct, and so let's. So right now, right now, if we could decide the new laws moving to the next century, yeah, would we want incest to be legal? What a big burden! <laughs> I think it's not about whether it's legal or not, <laughs> but that like it's, I guess it's personal choice. Uh huh. Perhaps. Let me put it this way for you. All. Okay, <laughs> since both of you are in relationships, if right now you found out that your partner your is sister? related to you, what would that change? You first. <laughs> <laughs> the silence. Ah, see? Good. Okay, hey, I relax. I see back. Hey, wait, are you on my side? Yes. Okay, okay, yeah, huh? I see oh, back. So you are for incest? <laughs> yeah, I see. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Wait, so you are not for incest? I am not! Let's make it very clear. I am not embarrassed by this. No, because we have sisters. <laughs> because we have sisters. I okay. would not like to do it, but I don't think that, like, morally, it doesn't seem to have anything wrong. Yeah. Like, it just shouldn't be a law, lah, is what you're saying. Yeah. So, answer the question. No, I can see why it's a law. But yeah. I feel like biology aside, right? I don't see why it's wrong. Right. Yeah. But I don't want to do anything, with my brother. I, I think but you want to keep the option open. No. This guy trying. I'm happy with this law. Right. right. Okay. But yeah. Back I would. I would think that if Ned and I suddenly found out that we were related or that we were brothers and sisters, I think we would come to the agreement that we will just not have children. Yeah. We'll break up. We he was totally not thinking <laughs> that. We love each other and great. Now we're brothers and sisters, we get to be in each, in, in each other's lives. So we don't need to. So everything works out. Everything works out. But we don't need to be romantically involved. Wait, so you won't Wait, yeah, then oh, you so you will find a girlfriend? No, la, I mean, like, not immediately. But, like, I mean, <laughs> it's not. So you will break up. You will break up. Yeah, it's them weird. Is that weird to be romantic? But it's a construct. Your, I know it's called a construct, but it's a construct that I fully subscribe to. Now on to hear I'll, 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 now on to hear Ned's answer. <laughs> if it's different, why you die? Shit! <laughs> Ned's outside. <laughs> Ned! <laughs> Should I ask? Yeah. Should I ask? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Should come she, here, she, come she here, come here. Okay, okay, yeah, you see, you see, you see. Please. Oh, hi. <clears throat> this is our dance fiance. <laughs> so, in a hypothetical situation. What are you doing there? Okay, yeah. what are your thoughts on incest? Oh my god, that's wrong. Wrong, right? Agree. Yeah. No, agree. Why? Why? Because I mean, like genetically, if no, so biology aside. Yeah, just mo plain Morally. morals. I don't know. It's just so weird. Like, okay, if let's say I have a brother, and if I were to have sex with my brother, that's just so weird because. Right. So, what if we found that Dan was your brother? <laughs> No, 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 cannot, cannot. You'll I think break out with him? Yeah! Huh, that's not what he said, eh? <gasps> oh my god. No, you'll break out with him. But that doesn't change anything, what? It, it's just, like, I think because it's inbuilt, right, to, to love your family in a non sexual way. 
Right, no, but yeah. today you found out. Like, like if you expand your already. mind. You buy house already. You'll be having sex for a long time. Eh. That's not, it's not weird. Eh. <laughs> this is just wrong. No, 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 no. I cannot, I cannot. I, I cannot wrap my okay, head okay. around having... So someone gives answer. you a cert, y'all will have the conversation and you'll break up. Yeah. We're aligned. That is wild. No, but y'all will continue living together as brother and sister. Will you start calling him, bro? So go on, I, so go on, I told go them, right, was that because we find out we're brother and sister and like we previously have loved each other, right? Then at least now we're in each other's lives as brother and sister, lah, but then we will break up. Lah. I think I will run away. We <laughs> <laughs> no, oh. are in no. dangerous territory. <laughs> no. no, I think. What I, is love? <laughs> Someone wearing the same colour today. She <laughs> hurt you. Yeah. No, I think I will, I will need to be by myself first to just figure out like what relationship. I intend to have with you. Like, do I still wanna be a family with you? Like, because it's just so wrong. Like, there's I'll be so the uncle to your future children. Oh my god, no, it's so wrong. <laughs> You've put sperm in me. <laughs> You've got a friend. <laughs> yeah, what do they call you after that? The father supersede uncle. You can, <laughs> <laughs> you can call me daddy. You'll be the father uncle. <laughs> Uh, the whole family calls you daddy. <laughs> Congratulations, you're aligned. That's fantastic. Now pet. <laughs> yeah. Man. Now your turn. Don't bully out. Really? I call her. No, no, no. Don't I said answer. I think we will not have kids but still stay together. But and kiss. Yes, we'll still be a couple. So, moral aside, then the the biology is, uh, is another big problem. Why can't we nobody say biology right? Uh? Am yeah, I saying it right? Biology. Biology, biology yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay she, she butchered it just now, you butchered it. Yeah. <laughs> nobody can say it. Don't know why, yeah. Biology. Yeah. Well, yeah. well done. <laughs> no, yeah, so I think we'll still stay together. Nice. But we'll just not have kids. Wait, but will you have sex? Y yes. Okay, la. we in radio. So is this so okay you to you? No! It's okay! No, father, please! <laughs> <laughs> I'm my priest. So in a similar story, right, uh, a 60-year-old man... Oh, wait, wait, sorry, before we move wait, on. Wait, hold on! I just want to conclude this conversation. Three people are f***ing your sister. <laughs> <laughs> no, but honestly, I want to hear like people's thoughts. Eh. Like, really, after hearing this conversation, like, what you what you think about incest? After we shoot this, right, can you ask Pat <laughs> the same question? Nah, I'm curious to know. Okay. Yeah. Okay, but anyway. So in a similar story, right, a 60-year-old man performed sex acts on a 14-year-old boy, right, that he regarded as his own grandson. <gasps> yeah. again, again, sorry, they're both men, is it? So they're, they're both men. Uh, it's a 60-year-old man and a 14-year-old boy. So the 14-year-old boy, right, is the older man's um, grandson's friend. And right. so this boy has been going to this older man for life advice. And the worst part, right, and I really feel for the boy's father is that the boy's father even encouraged the boy to keep going to the old man because right. the old man was giving genuinely good yeah. like, life advice. And so he just kept saying, yeah, go go back and, and see him. Wait, but the boy's father did not know He did not know about the sexual act, of course. So how did they find out? Yeah. No, so they found out because the, the victim was giving a statement to the police about a separate matter altogether. And then he happened to have brought up that he had been sexually assaulted. Right. That's how they found wow. out. Yeah. If okay. not, he might have suffered for longer. So yeah. Yeah, or the older man would have gotten away with it. Yeah. And he was 14 years old. How 14. long was it going on for? You don't know. It, I don't know how long for, but they basically met six times a week for three hours oh, every gosh. day. Yeah. Some solid mentorship going on. Well, well, sex, yeah. Imagine you had a kid and then you're so young, hmm. you don't really know what's going on. That one sounds just completely wrong there. to me. Yeah, that one totally wrong. That's totally grooming, wrong. you know? Yeah. Even yeah. if it was consensual. The whole thing started when the man started performing sexual acts on the boy at a staircase landing in January last year. That's yeah, butchering staircase as well. Yeah. <laughs> Right. So the, the men started performing sexual acts on the boy uh, since January last year and it started at a staircase landing. Right. Yeah. So actually, 14 years old, right, is two years away from being Consent. able to legally yeah, have sex, right? Mm. How how did we fall upon that that age per se? Yeah. Right, given that actually we aren't really fully developed until like 25, right? And the fact that different people develop at different rates. Right. Right? Depending on what you're exposed to, what you learn and whatnot, your upbringing. Well, so that's a good question. It's a good question because like, even if you have consensual sex, right, with someone who is underage, quote unquote, even if it's consensual, right, the courts won't even listen to it. Like, because the courts, statutory as, because they assume that like, if, like, the consensual has a large part of coercion to it given your young age. Right? Yeah, you may have groomed them, etc. Yeah. But then like, everyone develops differently here. So like, 
I know it's good to have everything black and white, but how did we come to like the age of 16? Mm. And like, other countries like 18, for example. Yeah, that's like, it's different somehow. Oh, Singapore yeah. is 16, is it? If yeah. I'm not wrong. I think it has to do with not updating the marriage. Like, it's, it's an outdated thing. But I think it has to do with the age of marriage in the past and human lifespan in the past. I think it started there. Like, because people got married a lot earlier. You get married shortly after sexual maturity. Yeah. yeah. So, so like by 12... 16, most of them are sexually mature. Right, right. Yeah. So then why did we push that back? We should, as we should lah. No, as in if they're already getting married and having children when they're like 12 or 13 already, right? But many of these marriages are not uh, are planned uh, arranged, marriages. Yeah, yeah. Arranged, yeah. Right, right, right. So I think in, in when you're entering into a long-term legal contract, which is a marriage, uh. <laughs> then they want to push it back to when you're a bit more aware. Mm. Why didn't they update the sex one, huh? Mm. It's a good question. No, I, I'm asking many good questions here. <laughs> and I feel, no like it's, I feel like it's a lazy solution to a problem that maybe people are just not looking What would be into. the alternative though? Like what do we look into in order to adjust this age? So it could be, a, for example, at, at the age of 16, maybe that's when you can officially start going for maybe like a test. Like either a medical test or a psychological test to understand whether you, you can wrap your head around concepts of consent, like properly. Yeah, and if you're unable to pass that test, then you push back the what becomes what you're allowed to do. La. So that everyone has an individual like mm. license of consent. Yeah, almost. so that means like most people will be legally allowed to have sex be- between the ages of 16 and maybe 21. You know what I mean? Yeah. So interesting that you brought up about coercion because um, and, and age limits as well. So like even though the age of consent in Singapore is 16, there is a new um, kind of like caveat now that for minors between 16 to 18, if the sexual relationship is exploitative, right, um, that that older adult could also still uh, land a jail term or be charged. But what falls under yeah, exploitative? Yeah, it's, it's so yeah. hard to understand that. And like, I think sometimes people will, like 20 years down the road, you look back and they're like, oh shit, actually that was the situation. But you don't really realise it in the moment. Ma. Mm. Yeah. So how, 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 how do they, how would they even evaluate that? No. If I'm not wrong, lah, um, this this is pertaining to how certain laws are created, especially back then, right? Where it's really for the convenience of the big guy. Right. Yeah, that they wanted some senior officers to um, get fired from their force, the military force, in the like colonization era. Yeah, and so they try and ban. In order to do that, they know many of their senior officers in Singapore are dating the colonized women. Right. Mm. Yeah. And so they banned it almost as a gesture of goodwill. Right. Then they catch them, then they expel them from service. Yeah. Yeah. But the whole point was because he wanted to get rid of these people. Right, right, right. If you remember correctly. La. If I remember correctly. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but I also want to question like pedophilia as a whole, right? <sighs> not not that I want to defend it, but yeah. I think we need to address it. I think there are two camps of people. One are the people who are born like this and they cannot help it and we need to pay more attention to it. But the other one, right, which we do not condone is the ones that are acting upon it, right? And have committed crimes. Mm. Yeah. So we're talking about is it right to be a pedophile, is it? Not is it right to be a right. pedophile, but... I think he's talking about what about the pedophiles that are pedophiles not... Like, because they are born like that, yeah. uh, their, their preference is like that. But they are still restraining themselves. How can we help them? Is it yeah, like? correct. So, pedophilia correct. actually recently got reclassified to be a mental disorder. Right. And then, yeah, so they, they are acknowledging, right, that it's something that you are kind of born with. And mm. it's basically kind of like, in a sim- to put it in a simple way to understand, it's like having s- your sexual orientation is attraction to children. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. I, of course I agree on like, if you act on it, right, then it's a completely different ball game. Yeah. Really, like, correct, it's completely correct, correct. wrong. It feels, like, it feels like there are two, like, the way I see it, there's two things we can do to kind of qualify whether we want to accept this in society or not. And it's the first two I can think of, right? The first one is like, whether it's consensual, whether the other party can agree to it. Mm-hmm. Because if not, then it's just like murder, mm-hmm. right? Like, your fe- if your fetish is rape, doesn't mean you should rape and nobody can blame you because you hurt someone, mm-hmm. right? I think the other one is also, where does pedophilia end? Is it, can we really say it's uh, identity? Because right. after, when the kid grows up, is it you no longer are attracted to attracted this kid, then you yeah. want to switch target. Then to me, I feel like that's not your identity. Right. Yeah, because every guy, every 60-year-old guy here would rather date a 30-year-old woman. I, I get what you're talking about. Yeah. And I think that this is something that 
I think it's a whole other conversation to be had on how important individualism is and what you identify with it. Because I think in today's society, everybody is picking their, the few things that They're they want. Tribe, uh. Yeah. Uh, and I don't think it's the healthiest thing, eh, to be honest. Mm. Yeah, for society. But yeah, I get what you're talking about. So there was actually a quite controversial article on this, talking about how people are, as in they theorise like, that people are born pedophiles because mm. like this thing was developed in like the first trimester of like your ba- baby thing la. Mm. They were talking about how you can actually see it as like LGBTQ plus kind of thing. Like it's a kind of sexual orientation in right. fact that is like just towards children. So then should they be prosecuted for that and like looked down upon for that? Yeah, exactly. But I think it depends right, like when it comes to pedophilia like they shouldn't be prosecuted for having that attraction, but I guess it's the act of it the because of it. unlike unlike say LGBTQ where two two consensual adults go into a relationship, sometimes obviously with pedophilia it involves children who can't make certain decisions yeah. or may get taken advantage of. So it's a bit unfortunate, I guess, that I don't see it ever becoming like acceptable. No, I wanted to bring up like on, on that point, right? That I think if I'm not wrong in Japan, there are certain services that where where like the people like right, they dress up as children. Ah, look young also. Right. Yeah. So they actually cater to that that audience, my that clientele. Like to search, 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 so satisfy them. Correct. Yeah. Right. yeah so I'm wondering if that that is poten- potentially one step in the right direction, right? But there's two perspectives to it, right? You could be just encouraging this and normalizing this. No, but we're giving yeah. them an outlet. So like similar yeah. to Anna, yeah. right? It's similar like creating a red light district so that people are not raping strangers on the yeah. street. There is an outlet for them to basically fulfill that, that need, right? Actually, that makes a little bit of sense because a consensual adult dressing up as a child yeah. satisfy their need so that th- there wouldn't be predators predating on kids. <laughs> yeah. Praying. I guess. Praying, Praying on kids. <laughs> no, so I'm trying to think of this from the perspective of if, say, maybe when I was younger, I, I kena sexually assaulted by like an older person, la, right? Mm. So I'm a victim of a pedophile. And I watch this video. What would I think? What's the message that I would want to hear? Right? Mm. As much as we are on the side. Okay, I'm not saying we are on the side of, but as much as I'm trying to draw attention to how we need to care for people like this, right? I think it's a totally different category from people who actually act upon it. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So to me, the medical attention has to go towards this category of people who are suffering from this and they actually need help. But I'm definitely not condoning you go and act upon it. Mm. Or like, mm. And that like past cases, we should like side with the, the, yeah. the people yeah. who have committed yeah, those agree. crimes. Yeah. Yeah, lo. I think that's the point that we're trying to make. Eh. It's All right. Okay. TikTok time. Tiki toki, tiki toki. Okay, so for this challenge, right, you all have to pour water uh, inside the bottle, right? And then use the tissue inside the to cover. And then you all have to flip it without dripping. <gasps> Wait, what? Wait, we need a pail! <laughs> <laughs> That's not the way I live my life. If <laughs> okay, you go. Go, go. No, you go. No, you go. <laughs> no, you go. <laughs> no, you go. There's, there's, there's a bubble. There's, there's a bubble there. 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 Oh, I really believe this will work now. Eh. This is very thin. This is a joke. Do that, do that. Hey guys, let us know what you think in the comment section down below and you haven't already, do subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!